Today, you're gonna to learn exactly how to build powerful backlinks to your site. In fact, I've used the strategies I'm about to show you to get links from sites like Forbes, TechCrunch, Inc., Entrepreneur, and more. I'm Brian Dean, the founder of Backlinko. And today, I'm gonna to show you nine proven link building strategies and some advanced techniques I've never heard anyone else talk about. Keep watching. We have a lot to cover in today's video, so let's get started. I started my first blog way back in 2010. Back then, spammy black hat link building was all the rage. In fact, my go-to strategies were things like article directories and link pyramids. Link pyramid? That sounds amazing. These black hat links worked okay until Google unleashed its penguin update. This update wiped out 98% of my Google traffic literally overnight. That's when I decided to go all in on White Hat SEO. And thanks to the White Hat link building strategies I'm about to share with you, my organic traffic shot up like a rocket ship. I also started to rank for competitive keywords like video SEO, keyword research, on-page SEO, and more. So without further ado, let's kick things off with strategy number one, link roundups. Imagine if people publish blog posts for the sole purpose of linking out to quality content. The type of quality content that you already publish on your site. That would be awesome, right? Fortunately for us, that's a real thing. And they're called link roundups. Here's an example of a link roundup. So what are link roundups exactly? Link roundups are daily, weekly, or monthly blog posts that curate and link to outstanding content. For example, this is a link that I recently built from a roundup. Now let's break down the exact process that I used to get that link. First, you need to find link roundups in your industry. And here are a few search strings that work really well. Just pop these search strings into Google and you should find tons of high quality roundups. And once you find a link roundup that seems like a good fit, it's time to pitch your content. Here's the email script that I personally use. You wanna send this script to the person that runs the roundup. As you can see, this script isn't pushy or spammy. I just let the person know that my content exists and gently suggest that they include it in their next roundup. And if your post is a good fit for that person's roundup, you'll get a sweet link. That's all there is to it. With that, it's time for our second strategy, broken link building. Broken link building is one of my all-time favorite link building strategies. Why? You see, when most people build links, they send generic pitches that offer zero value. Can I have a link, please? Thank you, send. But with broken link building, you add value to someone's website, then ask for a link. Here's the step-by-step -step process. First, add Check My Links to Google Chrome. Check My Links is a free Google Chrome extension that finds broken links on any page. I'll show you how to use this tool in a minute. But for now, let's move on to step number two. Find a site that you wanna get a link from. You probably already have a few sites in mind. If not, just Google keywords related to your industry. The sites that show up in the search results are great sites to get backlinks from. For example, last year I wanted to build links to this list of SEO tools. So I Googled things like SEO checklist and SEO tutorial. Next, it's time to check for broken links. To do this, just visit a few pages on the site you just found and run the Check My Links extension. This will reveal all the broken links on that page. Finally, let the site owner know about their broken link and offer your content as a replacement. For example, when I find a broken link on someone's site, I send them this email. Note how personalized my email is. The more you personalize your email, the more links you'll get. Anyway, when they replied to my message, I sent them the URL of the broken link. I also pitched my SEO tools post as a replacement for the dead link. And because I added value first, then asked for something in return, people were happy to link to me. And now it's time for strategy number three, build links from podcasts. A few months ago, I was checking out where one of the sites in my niche got their backlinks from. And I noticed that a big chunk of their backlinks came from going on podcasts. So I decided to become a guest on as many podcasts as I could. In fact, I appeared on over 50 podcasts over the next year and a half. Not only did these podcasts send some serious traffic my way, but they resulted in tons of high quality backlinks. Moving right along to our next technique, create branded strategies and methods. 
A few years ago, I was searching for some productivity tips and it came across this post by Merlin Mann. In this post, Merlin outlines something called Inbox Zero, a productivity approach where you use your inbox as your to-do list. But that wasn't what grabbed my attention. What shocked me was that this simple idea generated over 5,000 backlinks. And when I looked over those backlinks, I noticed a pattern. Most people linked to the page because it outlined a strategy with a unique name, Inbox Zero. That's when I decided that I would try naming my strategies too. So the next time I talked about a strategy on my blog, I called it the skyscraper technique. So how did it go? The post where I first mentioned the skyscraper technique has been linked to over 9,000 times. And if you look at those links, 90% of them are due to the fact that I gave my strategy a unique branded name. Okay, moving right along to strategy number five, become a source for reporters and bloggers. Here's the deal. If you wanna rank on the first page of Google today, you need to build links from authority news sites and blogs in your industry. Fortunately, this isn't as hard as it probably sounds. In fact, it's very doable thanks to a free service called Harrow. Harrow is like a dating site for public relations. Harrow connects bloggers and journalists that need sources to people that want links and press mentions. And I've personally used Harrow to build links from mega news sites like entrepreneur.com. To be clear, this strategy takes work and it's not always easy. But in my experience, it's one of the best ways to build quality backlinks at scale. With that, let's dive into the step-by-step -step process. First, register as a source. Once you're signed up, you'll get three emails a day from reporters looking for sources like this. And when you find a request that seems like a good fit, send them your pitch. For example, a while back I saw a hire request from someone that wanted to know what's the difference between graphic design and web design. So I submitted this pitch. And I got this sweet link from rasmussen.edu, which is an authoritative edu domain. Not bad. Next up, we have strategy number six, pre-outreach. A while back, one of my readers, Emil, was getting ready to publish this epic piece of content. And Emil realized that his post had the potential to rank number one in Google for his target keyword. But for that to happen, he'd need to build links. So Emil decided to promote his post before he even published it. This is known as pre-outreach. Here's how it went down. First, Emil found blogs that wrote about employee wellness and he sent them this message. Because he didn't beg for a link, most of the people that Emil talked to were happy to hear from him. Then, once Emil's post went live, he sent a link to everyone that responded to his first email. And that led to a bunch of social shares and a nice contextual backlink. With that, it's time for strategy seven, EDU resource page link building. It's no secret that links from EDU websites are super powerful. The question is, how do you actually get university sites to link to you? EDU resource pages. Here's how it works. Most universities have resource pages where they link to content that could help their students and faculty. Here's an example of a resource page that links to content about nutrition and supplements. For example, let's say you have a website about nutrition. First, you wanna find resource pages like the one I just showed you. To do that, pop these search strings into Google. Then look to see if a piece of your content would be a good fit for that page. Finally, email the person that runs that resource page this proven script. Now, keep this in mind. Only about 5% of the edu sites that you reach out to will actually add your link. That's the bad news. The good news is even one or two of these links can make a massive difference in your Google rankings. For example, I recently used this strategy to get a link from this resource page on the University of Michigan website. And that single link made a significant dent in my organic traffic. If you thought that was cool, wait until you see strategy number eight, the moving man method. The moving man method is simple. First, find web pages, resources, or businesses that are outdated, just rebranded, or recently changed names. Then find sites that are still linking to these outdated resources. Finally, let people know that they're linking to something that's out of date. Let me show you how this works with a real life example. A while back, I read that a website for a big SEO agency suddenly shut down. This meant they had tons of pages on their site that weren't working anymore. Pages that lots of people 
we're still linking to. Specifically, I noticed that an infographic about SEO on their site wasn't working anymore, which was perfect because I had just published my own SEO focused infographic. Nice. nice. So that was the first step. Next, I had to see who actually linked to this infographic. So I fired up Ahrefs and pulled all of their links. Finally, I emailed everyone that still linked to that infographic. I let them know that the image wasn't working anymore. I also let them know that my infographic would make a great replacement for the blue glass one. And as you can see, people were more than happy to link to me. Speaking of infographics, it's time for our last link building strategy, guestographics. Last year, Backlinko reader Matt Lowry had a problem. Matt runs Yellow Octopus, an e-commerce site in Australia that sells gifts. And he quickly realized something. It's really hard to build links to e-commerce sites. After all, who would want to link to a site that's made up of 100% product and category pages? That's when Matt realized to build links to his site, he'd need to publish awesome content. So what did he do? First, Matt put together an epic piece of content an ultimate guide to Australian gin. This guide contained everything someone would want to know about gin from Australia in one place. Now, of course, Matt didn't just sit back and wait for the links to roll in. He promoted his content with email outreach. Because Matt reached out to the right people and sent them personalized emails, some people even offered to link to his guide. And all these backlinks boosted Matt's rankings for a keyword that his customers search for every day. Australian gin. His content even shows up in the highly coveted featured snippet spot. Now before we close out this video, let me show you a cool bonus tip. Find guest posting opportunities with Google Images. That's right, I said guest posting. Now a lot of people say that when it comes to building links, guest posting is dead. But is it true? Not really. In fact, when you're just starting out, guest posting is one of the best ways to build links to your site. For example, when I first started Backlinko, I guest posted like a madman. I wrote over 50 guest posts and interviews in about a year. And the links I got from guest posting gave my organic traffic a nice early boost. That said, I was very strategic about things. I made sure to only write guest posts for quality sites in my niche. So if you run a site about the paleo diet and write a guest post for a site about iPhones, that's gonna look spammy. But when you write mind-blowing guest posts for quality sites in your industry, those links do help. The question is, how do you find sites to guest post on? Google Images. Here's the step-by-step -step process. First, find someone in your niche that writes a lot of guest posts. Second, grab the URL of the headshot that they use in their author bio. Finally, pop that URL into Google reverse image search. And boom, you get a list of places that guest posted, presented to you, on a silver platter. Very cool. So there you have it. Nine of my all time favorite link building strategies. If you learned some cool new stuff from today's video, make sure to subscribe to the Backlinko YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below this video. And if you want exclusive SEO techniques that I only share with subscribers, head over to backlinko.com and hop on the newsletter. It's free. Now it's your turn. Which technique from today's video are you gonna try first? Are you gonna try broken link building? Or do you wanna start using Google Images to find sites to guest post on? Either way, let me know by leaving a comment below right now. Where were we? Wait, link, that's like every word. You lucky bastard. So we have some funny moments, we can just do those all at the end. Well, supposedly funny moments. So what, oh, so that's good. That's I might just take that out. Yeah, you got it rough over there.